Hello everybody. It is nice to see you guys. All right. So this is going to be a love tarot reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay. Now it's really important. I can't stress it enough guys. Now these are general readings. So they might not resonate with your actual circumstances that you have into your love life at this moment. Um, so always take what is good and take what is not good for you. All right. If ever you do want to have more of a personalized type of reading, and then you can always join me into a live reading. Um, I have some every single night on YouTube, or you can also ask for a private reading. Um, I do those every day also. So, but anyways, this is general. So here we go. Now this is for the sign of Taurus. It is a love reading for the following week. I'm going to be taking out three cards. Um, I'm going to take out some more supportive cards after. All right. So here we go, guys. And let's go and see what we've got going on. So here we go. My loves, son of Taurus, not completely easy. You do have a couple challenges coming upon you this week, sweeties. And let's start on off over here. Um, I'm seeing that there is a very, very strong connection between um, two different individuals within your relationship here, guys. So uh, this is really signifying that there is somebody somewhere into your life. This is a period of deep emotional bonding. It is a period that I would actually consider as being um, very harmonious, okay, into your love life. Now, if you are into an actual relationship at this moment, well, this is really about the strength that is coming forward with it. This is really over here about how beauty is actually popping out through it. Okay, guys. So this is what I'm seeing for the moment. I'm going to have to say that this is about being into a period where we are renewing. You're renewing, my dear friends, your sense of love, your sense of passion. You are renewing also at the very same time your, how could I say, your understanding with your partner. I feel like, my dear friends, a lot of things that seemed a little bit unclear, well, you're actually going to be getting your clarity from it. Things are going to become better. Things are going to become easier, guys. Uh, you're understanding your partner more. Your partner is going to be understanding you more which is what we all want, right? So um, I'm going to say fantastic. Now, if you are single, though, I'm always, you know, uh, we always go both ways over here. If you are single, I'm going to have to say over here that you are into like the most fantastic and prime position to actually meet on out somebody that can be really, really quite good for you. Okay. You are on to the road to meet somebody who can bring love into your life. Somebody who is going to resonate with your values. Somebody who is going to resonate with your desires. Oh, sweet Lord. Seriously, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. So, okay. The actual present that I'm getting at this moment, this is what I'm getting for the cards as things are right now. If I move on forward and I go and see, well, what kind of challenges could you be actually receiving this week, right? Okay, uh, there's challenges in all relationships, and we do know that we could actually be getting over here some, um, we could be getting a little bit of disappointment, okay? There could be disappointment, there could be a little bit of loss. Um, this is about how sometimes, uh, for some of you, not all of you again, but some of you, you're holding on to old thoughts, old ideas, old heartaches, um, old situations you're holding on to past heartaches you're holding on to you're holding on to regrets which could actually be affecting the ability to fully embrace the present moment so i'm actually going to have to say over here that it's so 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 very important to embrace embrace the actual moment okay acknowledge your feelings acknowledge what you're feeling acknowledge your sentiments and all of these acknowledgements are going to help you to remind you to stay positive. Stay positive into your love life. Why? Because the people that are involved with you, love-wise, 
and they deserve that. You deserve that at the same time. Now, there is absolutely no doubt about it. Spirit is definitely telling you over here that you need to embrace the moment present. Let's let go of the past. If the past is not clear for you, let's clear it. Let's talk about it, guys. Stop holding on to it. Let it go. Cut those cords. Talk about it. Freeze it. Do a freezing spell. Whatever is necessary. Get rid of what no longer serves you because at this moment, I kind of feel my beautiful Taurus is not this is just holding you on back. It's holding you on back into a relationship that you could be into at this moment that could be nice and strong and positive and beautiful. So cut those cords. And if you're single, you need to cut them too because until you cut those cords, finding somebody new, building that beautiful relationship is going to be more difficult, Okay. Very important, guys. I love you. It's important that you cut those cords. Now, I'm also going to have to say over here, I do see a lot of emotional depth. I do see a lot of intuition. I do see a lot of beautiful nurturing energy. This is about advising you. You are being advised at this moment to tap into your emotional wisdom. May you be into a relationship or may you be looking for one. It is important to communicate your feelings openly and authentically. Let's not say half of the truth, guys. Let's say it all, okay? If you're going to say something, say it all. Let it all on out and let's see what happens. You'll at least know the truth and you'll be able to move on forward, but don't go halfway. If you go halfway, you're not going to be happy into this. So trust yourself, trust your intuition when you're making the decisions that are related to your love life. Now, this is a time for you to connect with your own emotions. It is time for you to connect with your emotions of your partner. If you do have a partner, it is so, so, so very important. This is a moment of changes. This is a moment where a lot of things are going to be happening. And if you want these things to be happening and you want them to go into the right way, you've got to do this, okay? Please do follow this, guys. Now, other than that, I'm also going to have to say, I do see that if you do follow on through with my advice, you talk about your emotions, you open on through, what are you going to get from it? You're going to get a beautiful long-term relationship. You're going to get comfort. You're going to get family. You're going to get into your love life. You're going to get potential. Potential for what? For long-lasting, future-fulfilling relationships. Now, if you're into a beautiful, committed relationship, this is about getting shared goals, financial security, strong foundation. If you're single, this is about indicating the potential over here for significant, stable partnership into the future. I know that may we be single or may we be into a relationship. Both of those are so very important. They are loving. They are caring. They are looking towards a future. They are goal searching. We are moving on forward. And this is what you guys want. Okay. This is what we've been looking for all the way on through guys over and over and over again. So don't forget about it. Let go of those emotions. Talk about them. Move on forward. Build something. This is time for building. So you do need to remember over here into everything that I have said, my beautiful souls, that this is about a week of overflowing emotions. This is about, for some of you guys, a brand new fresh start. For others, this is emotional renewal. This is a possibility of deep, soulful connections. This is about opening your heart. It's about being receptive to love. It's about you having those emotional experiences. It's about having that beautiful reminder to what? To embrace the love in all its beautiful forms. Let your heart guide you every single step of the way, my beautiful Taurus. And you are going to have a beautiful week. Sending you much love. Don't forget, subscribe, follow, come and see me into a live reading every single night. Sending you guys so much love.